I don't think people understand how valuable they can be if they use their time correctly. Yes. Now, have you always been like this? Have you I'm, always been I'm this a positive ambitious? Always? Fucking guy, man. But always? Always. Really? I find a light in every dark tunnel. I will find a goddamn light, man. <laughs> I hear it all. You, listen, when I tell you the weight on my back is so heavy of all the stuff that I deal with, and I'm fine. The reason why I'm fine is because I'm genuinely happy. I'm happy. And I'm not happy just because of the success. The success acts as a bonus. I'm happy because I truly know the definition and the feeling that comes with happiness. I truly know it. I felt it. I felt it when I said, yo, what really makes me happy? And I look at Heaven and Hendrix and I look at Zoe. I look at my wife. I go, yo, I didn't have the family shit when I was coming up. Yo, I got one. I got one. Look what I done did. Look what I built. These people depend on me. I provide for these people. That makes me happy. That makes me happy when my daughter comes up. Dad, you're not only my dad, you're my best friend. Yo, I'm happy. That's my world. So everything else from the outside that comes in, you're, you're, you're throwing shit at a, at, a, at a bubble that can't be popped. Mm. It's a force field around me. Yeah. It's a force field around me because what matters... What really matters loves me wholeheartedly. And when you have that and you understand that, you're unbreakable. So if you don't add to that force field, if you don't make my force field stronger, you don't, you don't, you don't get time from me. My team, Heartbeat Productions, the people underneath my umbrella, you're a part of my force field. You believe what I believe. We all see the same things. We want the same things so we march with the same beat you can't you can't shake that when you're an individual that's seen that and understands that if you've never felt that if you have no idea what that feels like then it's easy to shake you that's why some people are easily broken being broken is not a hard thing it's not a hard thing. So those that do get broken, those that do get down, those that do get depressed, I understand. I understand. I don't, I don't knock people for it. Mm. I don't knock anybody for it. What I also understand is that the encouragement that can come from so many can add value for those that may need a little push. Mm. That may need a little, hey man, pick your chin up. It's so easy to be that positive reinforcement for somebody and add value. It's so easy. But some people choose to throw that aside and kick while you're down. Mm. I try to put out the light of positivity. Because whoever's out there, you, I don't know what it could do for somebody else. But somebody else may just simply look at me and say, yo, the way that he embraces his kids makes me want to be a better father. Yo, the way that this man doesn't stop and the way that every day he wakes up and he's just positive regardless of what's going on makes me realize that this shit ain't so bad. The way that he gets up and says, hey, today's another day. It's a morning. Let's all be better than we were yesterday. Somebody probably needed to hear that. The more that I can give that out and I can take my platform to throw good energy out, I'm doing my part. Because there's so many that throw out the complete opposite. Yeah. I don't want to be a part of that. Are you getting this positive attitude towards life from life experience? Or are you getting it from books? Did someone teach you how to think I'm, like this? I'm getting it from the experiences and from the, the real understanding of perfection doesn't exist. It don't exist, Joe. Mm. We're, we're in a time right now where people expect perfection. You expect perfection. And I don't know where this came from. I don't know what happened that this is the criteria for living. My true understanding is, all right, you got one life. And that one life, the goal for us is to live it to the best of our ability from the beginning to what said the end. In the middle, in the beginning, middle, you're going to do things. You're going to make mistakes. You're going to fuck up. You're supposed to learn. And then move forward with the understanding of what not to do. And when you move forward, life may get better, it may not. But somewhere along the lines, it's going to click. 
And everything that I went through back here was supposed to happen so that now that I'm here, I'm able to go ahead with such a high level of knowledge and I can make other people better. I can make myself better. I can do more for my family. Something happens. My dad is the prime example. Crazy drug addict. In and out of jail. Life was very bad. Very fucking bad for my dad. Son got successful. Son then took money. Gave it to his dad. Here's your house. Here's your truck. Here's your monthly. At this age, I want you to live your life. You have made mistakes. You can't rebuild and correct the things that you've done. I'm your son. I love you. You can't go back and, and redo. You can't try to keep going backwards. It ain't about me. You got grandkids. Mm. Go be the best grandpa you can be for these grandkids. That's your focus now. Where's this energy devoted to? Being a grandpa for the grandkids. Don't worry about me. But something happened in your life. Something happened that took you in the direction to reap the benefits of your son's happiness and success. My energy is now contagious enough and I hand it to you. So now you're able to give that off to all these other people that you're around. Something happens and that's in every single life. In every life. I understand that. There's a payoff for bad eventually. There's a payoff. It can't be bad but for so long. If you got the strength and the understanding to realize that, shit will change.